Hi there, Mrs. Nebaker here. And now you see one reason you're so lucky to be an online student. You don't have to look at this crazy mug every day. I just wanted to uh, take a minute and help you out with the Unit 3 discussion board. It has quite a few steps and sometimes that trips students up. So I wanted to make sure that you had an introduction of how the process worked for this discussion board. Uh, I did post an example also so that you can see what a student from a past course submitted as their discussion prompt. Um, but again, uh, discussion boards are for discussion and everyone's going to be a little bit different and that's okay. Alright, so let's start. The first thing you're supposed to do is select a wheel or around a circular item of any kind actually would work. I have selected the lid for a cup. Um, I selected something this small because it would be easier for me to record, um, but really honestly, the bigger the item you select, the easier it's going to be to get accurate measurements. And so this is what I'm working with, and the first thing it asked us to do was to measure the diameter of our object. So that's what I'm going to do now. So uh, just measure from side to side through the center, which I'm sure you're going, duh, I totally knew that, but <laughs> just in case. So mine is about four inches and I start from there and now we'll go to the floor surface and see how this goes. This is going to be the best piece of cinema you've ever seen, I'm sure. Okay, so we're actually going to skip step two for now and we're going to go to step three because in step three they ask you to rotate the circle 45 degrees and they say to use a protractor to do that. Now you may not have a protractor handy and that's okay. Um, because what we can do instead, and so I'm going to do this before I do step two, I'm going to mark my circle off in 45 degree angles. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, using a straight edge of any kind. Now I wanted to use a ruler, but I couldn't find mine. So I want to show you that even if you don't have a ruler, you're going to be okay. All right, so uh, I'm just going to draw the diameter using a straight edge and a marker. Okay, and then I'm going to turn my circle and I'm going to draw a diameter perpendicular to that. So see how that makes a right angle with the line I've already drawn? And notice I'm off just a tiny bit, but again, this is about approximation. Okay, so those are, we know, 90 degree angles, correct? Okay, so 45 is half of 90, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my straight edge and I'm going to split those angles right down the middle. Okay, so again, this is an approximation. You want to look a little bit. Um, it would help if my thing wasn't quite so thick. Again, if you have a protractor, that's awesome. You can use a protractor to measure exactly 45 degree angle here. Um, See, so yeah, I've kind of split that in half. Those would be 45 degree angles, and then I'm going to do the same this direction. Okay, so just because you don't have all the tools right at hand doesn't mean you can't do it. You can totally do this. Okay, so those are all about 45 degree angles, assuming my center is right here. All right, so that was what they wanted me to do to help with step three. Now let's go back to see what they wanted us to do on step two. Okay, so now what they're wanting us to do is put the circle like this on a horizontal piece of ground. Okay, and we, we're supposed to mark a point on the circle. This is my starting point. Okay, I'm going to mark that out. And wherever we place the circle on the ground, we want to mark the point where we're starting. I'm starting right here. Okay, now what they want you to do is rotate your circle 45 degrees. So that's why I have this marked here, my 45 degree angle where it comes out on the edge of the circle. Okay, so they want me to rotate that. I'm going to go ahead and mark that on my paper. Okay, because the next thing that they want me to do is measure the horizontal distance I have traveled. Okay, so I would get my measuring tool and I'm going to measure that distance. The other thing they want me to measure is how high my point is from the ground. Okay, so I'm going to first measure this. It would be good to have a helper. Looks like I have one and a half inches there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and mark that. 
and that's upside down for you I apologize <laughs> okay the other thing they want me to do is measure how high my original point is from the ground what's its height okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that the best I can again this is where having a larger circle comes in handy because the measuring is a little bit easier okay so I go from a point directly below the ground to my point I originally marked and it looks like it's about one inch okay one inch right there okay so my first I'm gonna write this down right on my paper one inch Okay, they want me to rotate it again. Okay, and they want me to measure how far I've traveled. Now, in the symmetry here, I'm thinking I should have traveled the same distance, but okay, so now I've traveled three inches. And how high is my point? So I want to go directly. This having a ruler would help here. Now I've done two inches, which <laughs> makes sense, right? I'm traveling the same distance each time. Okay, and they want you to continue doing that. Rotating 45 degrees, stop, measure, and measure the height. Continue doing that until you get all the way back around to where your point was on the ground. Okay, so record that data, and then we'll make a graph from that next. Okay, so here is the data that I came up with. 